Let's take a look at the design error that came back. Looks like there's some interference between the linkage and the base. Let's go back and eliminate that interference. Let's start off by hiding the lever so we can see what's going on behind it. And let's turn on our layout sketch so we can add the motion. Now we can see the point of where it begins to interfere. So looking at this, uh, a couple of things. I think we can go back and change, as you recall, we, we defined the, the diff distance between the circle or this hole and this edge. So uh, now that the plate is thicker, I think we can reduce that by a little bit. Let's see what effect that has. To do that, I will come to my base side sketch. Here are the two dimensions that I was talking about that define the distance between the top edge of the base and this hole. I'm gonna go ahead and reduce those down to one millimeter. Let's take a look at that. So it looks like that, that helped out quite a bit. So let's see, it looks like we've got great range of motion with no interference there. It's good, that's exactly what we want. But at the very beginning, you could see that, when I exit out of that sketch, you could see that it's starting to, to clip that corner. So I think what I can do next is uh, put a uh, fillet on there and then that, that will help knock off that edge and then enable the linkage to have full clearance. I could come and add that fillet in now. You know, I could come up here to modify, select fill it, and put it in there. But now if I do this, you may have uh, anticipated um, what was gonna happen. So if I, if I say okay, now you'll see that this fillet was, was created as, as we expected, but over here on the other side, mirrored, it's not there. Now, a couple, couple things that we can uh, do here. We can rewind, you know, we can add the fillet at, at the other side uh, at the same time, but I'm just gonna go ahead and undo that. What I would prefer to do is take my part back in time, you know, uh, bring our, our timeline back so that we can find where we created the base. So now we have all the features related to the base in one place and it will, it will make modifying the design easier because we, we have access to all those features up close or, or near each other. So let's go ahead and create that fillet again. We'll add a value of five millimeters there. Okay, so now if I bring my part back up, you'll see that the other, the mirror now has that, the, the body that we mirrored now has that fillet as well. So let's go, whoops, let's take our front view again and zoom in just a little bit. Now let's see if our, our motion or if our linkage now has the clearance there that we, we need. Awesome, it looks like, looks like we're good. Looks like the, the linkage clears the base perfectly. Now, we, we could go back and refine that a little bit, maybe, maybe one millimeter was too small, but that, now you can at least see how you could increment that design. And again, this, this goes back to the idea that when we set up our sketches, we, we create the, the design intent in there that we, that we want to, to follow. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn our layout sketch off. Turn the lever back on, and now we have our completed design with the incorporated changes that were requested from us.